What's happening everybody? Welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to be building a dual three-point hay spear. And I've got the spears. I found these guys off of uh, eBay. Uh, they are uh, 39 inch uh, usable spears, a, to a grand, total of, grand total of 43 inch, uh, including the sleeve and the collar. They come with this weld in sleeve and uh, they're tapered so we, I can replace them if they get bent. A uh, fellow commented on one of the videos a while back to stay away from Titan. Well, he didn't say stay away from Titan. He said just be wary because he's had to warranty a bunch of them out. Um, I was going after cost savings. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this. So I got these, I found these for 240 bucks for all four with free shipping. And I guess that's about, that's probably about the going, I mean, they're, most of them are a little bit more expensive, 10, 20, 30, $40 more, but um, I don't know what brand they are. Bestmetalproducts.com all over the, the packaging tape, but I guess we'll see how it works out. But the plan was I was gonna use this four inch square tubing because I've already got the material and I didn't wanna buy any more material. And that's only, that's only eighth inch thick. So I was a little concerned about it being strong enough. I think it would be okay, but when I got these sleeves in, these, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna punch a hole with a torch on each end to slip these, set the sleeves inside and weld them. Well, there's just not enough, uh, there's, just, there's just not enough to weld the sleeve on the outside. So I needed to go with three, three inch square tubing. So I went out to Georgetown and picked up this three by three square tubing and it's three sixteenths thick. So let me get started and I guess follow along and I'll show you uh, my, my process of doing this. That way you can, uh, if you're gonna do one yourself, you can kind of get some ideas on what you would do or make it easier for you on doing it differently or doing the same thing. So. Hang tight. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set the bell spears at 20 inches apart. The first one I'm gonna bring in at four inches. So at 24 inches, then I'll put the other bell spear right about here, which the outside of the bell should be in the center of the tractor. So that's kind of my goal is to kind of keep it even to where the bells, the outside of the bells will fall in the center of the tractor. And if they don't, you know, and the bells stick way out here, that's fine. I mean, two of these big long forks should be able to pick them up and move them, I would hope. But, um, and then the T, I'm kind of going to use this as a, I'm going to measure this distance from this straw bar up here. And whatever that distance is, that's what I'm gonna make the T uh, height at. Show you what I've got going on here. I'm marked an X where I'm gonna set these at. I've got them all measured out. And what I did was I, I measured the sleeve and then uh, the best I could. And then I line up, I'll try to center I try to center it the best I can by lining up with my little marks. Over here and here. And by getting my four light, light uh, marks lined up, then I'll draw the circle. And it seems to be pretty, pretty consistent. The only challenge is I'm gonna be using my torch to cut these out. I don't have an inch and three quarter drill bit to drill this out for a nice clean hole. So these holes aren't gonna be super clean. I'm gonna try to keep them as circular as possible, but um, when I get them in the hole, I'm probably gonna have to adjust them. Otherwise my forks are gonna be all out of whack going crazy. And uh, I don't want that to happen. Let me get the torch out and see how good of a hole I can cut. Got all 
all the holes cut out the best I can. Now I'm gonna rotate it on its side and start putting in the forks and see how, uh, how uh, they turn out. Well, here's where I'm at. Uh, once I started working on it, it wasn't too bad. The biggest suggestion, I guess, would be is make sure this piece is level and then level out your spears. And then once you get all that level, then you can get your tape measure and, and make sure they're 24 inches or however, however wide you set them. All right, here's where I'm at. I keep having to delete videos and apps on my phone because my memory keeps getting full. So I'm just gonna break down and order a GoPro camera. But So I can't get a whole bunch of video. I have to do short little clips to put this together. I wanted to get some of uh, me welding and, and a little bit more action, not just cutting to the, to the finished part. But I got everything welded up. Everything's square and level. It looks good. It's pretty easy to do. I'm going to, uh, I've got this riser. I'm going to come off with the plate here and here, and this is where the top link's going to hook up to. And then over here, I got three eighths plate. I'm going to come down at an angle here and here and put the pin through the, the lower links. So that's what I'll work on next. I got that three eighths plate over there. So the brackets cut out. They're, they're six inches long, and then I just held them up to this piece to get my, my angle. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount them like so on each side. There's gonna be two of them. I'm gonna drill a hole in it, and that's where my pin's gonna go through. So let me get those tacked up there. Well, here we are, it's the following day. I'm gonna get started. Uh, I think before I quit, I got these little uh, support plates or gussets, not the gussets, it's these little support plates. I just took some three eighths. It's a little thick, but I just took some three eighths and welded it up to give this riser a little bit extra support, but so I guess next I'm going to uh, weld on the tabs up here. I'm gonna pre-drill the holes and then weld them. And then I'm gonna drill the holes here and then clean these up, cut these corners off and then cap the ends. So it's getting close. I'm out of wire. This pin I thought was a category two and the tags ripped off. And it's just a category one. And I made these holes big enough for a category one. So I'm gonna have to bring the holes out bigger over here on this end. Uh, but I'll take care of that. I gotta go buy some new pins anyways. And when I do, I'll get the torch out and torch those bigger. There it is.
I ran out of welding wire, so I gotta go run to the store and pick some up. And the only thing I have left to do is, I've gotta weld this up. I've got it welded on the inside. And then I'm gonna put this plate on it, weld it up, grind it all down and make it look like a, a uh, solid piece. And then throw some paint on it. And then uh, cap these ends. I don't know, I may or may not do that. I'm not too worried about it. So, uh, and then I got to get category two pins. Those are category ones and make those, cut those holes out bigger. So that's it. And then, you know, you can adjust your top link to fix the pitch of the forks. But let me, uh, let me start the tractor and operate it up and down and And I noticed when I raise it, raise it all the way up, this top link hit this uh, holder for 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 the top link. But I, but if you grab it, you can swivel that thing up out of the way, and uh, make sure it's got a little bit of drag and it's tight to hold it in place. But uh, I guess one thing you can do is make that a little bit shorter, or just leave it at two feet. But it works great. Like I said, I just gotta do some cleaning up. Throw some paint on it and it'll be ready to rock and um, i hope that helps some of y'all out there uh, if you ever design one for yourself that's one way you can do it i've seen i've seen uh, guys just make a big cage around it and then they would run a support down here and put their three point coming off the support arms but for me that's the simplest way to do it less material like I said, I have $250 in the the forks or the spears, and then that tubing cost $85. So there's a, a local guy selling them for, he lowered his price for a dual hay spear for uh, $700. So it's pretty good savings. You know, it took probably five, six hours to do it. And uh, to me, it's worth it. I guess... Uh, when I get in the field, uh, we'll find out how my spacing is on the forks as far as picking them up. But I think we'll be—I think I'll be okay. So I guess—I uh, guess until the next video, when I'm cutting hay and moving it, I'll—I'll uh, I'll get this thing in action and show y'all out there and how it how it turned out and talk about it. So, so I guess for now, see you next time.